Mass shooting in America. We know nothing. Mass shootings are relatively rare events compared to other forms of gun violence in the United States. However, they have been growing more frequent over time. Even when controlling for population growth, there is still an upward trend in mass shootings. Additionally, these events have become deadlier with time. Increase in frequency. While still relatively rare compared to other forms of gun violence, mass shootings have been growing more frequent. In the past, there might have been only two or three mass shootings per year. Currently, there are an average of five or six per year. Increase in deadliness. The number of lives lost in mass shootings has increased due to the frequency of these events. When analyzing the deadliest mass shootings over a hundred years, it is evident that most of them have occurred within the last 10 years. Complexity of mass shootings. Mass shootings do not have a specific profile or checklist that can predict who will become a shooter. It is a complex problem that requires understanding its multifaceted nature. Simplistic explanations such as solely attributing it to mental health or access to firearms are insufficient. Embracing the complexity of this issue is crucial for effective prevention. Lack of profile for mass shooters. There is no specific profile or checklist that can predict who will become a mass shooter. Mass shootings are a complex problem that cannot be simplified to a single factor. Embracing complexity for prevention. To truly understand and prevent mass shootings, it is necessary to embrace the complexity of the issue. Simplistic explanations such as solely focusing on mental health or access to firearms are inadequate. Factors contributing to mass shootings. Baselines overwhelm. When individuals' coping mechanisms are overwhelmed, they may experience a suicidal crisis and look for violence as a solution to their problems. Social proof, mass shooters often study other mass shooters and can become radicalized through online communities. They seek models of behavior that inspire them towards violence. Individuals experiencing trauma and crisis may search for models of behavior online. The internet can facilitate radicalization into violence through heroization of mass shooters and the provision of ideologies that give purpose and meaning. Gun culture marketing also plays a role in this aspect. Opportunity, access to firearms and people slash places is necessary for perpetrating mass shootings. While opportunity has been the focus in prevention efforts, there are other inflection points where intervention can occur. The gun culture, physical security measures, and effectiveness of first responders also impact the opportunity for mass shootings. Trauma, trauma often stems from family structures and requires interventions in pre-slash-postnatal care, childcare, substance abuse treatment, bullying prevention, school engagement, and access to mental health care. Crisis, cultural norms around masculinity and organizational triggers can lead to workplace shootings. Lack of faith in institutions also contributes to societal triggers for mass shootings. Coping mechanisms, mental health treatment, stigma reduction, and institutional trust are important areas of focus. Factors contributing to mass shootings. Loops and interconnections contribute to the problem of mass shootings. The availability of guns makes it easier for individuals to commit such acts, resulting in more deaths and injuries. This increases public fear and trauma. Cultural valorization of guns for protection further exacerbates the issue. Mental health issues increase susceptibility to radicalization online. However, there is inadequate access to mental health services in the United States, making it difficult for individuals with mental health issues to receive treatment. This can increase their risk of violence. Weak gun safety laws in some states make it easier for individuals to access firearms. Resistance to gun control measures based on cultural and political factors like individual freedom and the Second Amendment Constitution also hinders effective solutions to mass shootings in America. Multiple connections and feedback loops exist within this complex issue of mass shootings. It is not solely about an individual with a gun but involves various interconnected factors that need consideration when seeking solutions. Characteristics of mass shooters 
mass shooters tend to be predominantly men. Understanding this gender dynamic is crucial when developing interventions or strategies related to mass shootings. The culture of masculinity and patriarchy plays a role in fueling this phenomenon. Many mass shooters are insiders connected to specific institutions such as schools or workplaces rather than being outsiders. This challenges the notion of simply locking them out as they are already part of these institutions. School shooters, for example, are often current or former students who are familiar with the security measures and active shooter drills in place. This familiarity changes how we approach intervention strategies. Crisis and warning signs. Mass shooters are individuals in crisis, and this crisis is noticeable through changes in their behavior from baseline. Increased agitation, abusive behavior, losing touch with reality, depressed mood, and mood swings can be warning signs. Many mass shooters exhibit multiple warning signs. By being attuned to these signs, it may be possible to intervene upstream and divert individuals away from the pathway to violence. Nature of mass shootings Mass shootings are often intended as a final act rather than an attempt to escape or get away with the crime. Many mass shooters have suicidal tendencies prior to the event, with about one-third intending to die during the act itself. Approximately 60% of individuals involved in mass shootings either take their own lives or are killed by law enforcement on the scene. The spectacle aspect of mass shootings implies that traditional deterrents like armed guards may not necessarily deter someone who is suicidal, it might even serve as an incentive instead. An example is given from 1979 where a school shooter stated that she chose a school across the street because she knew the police would show up and kill her, as previous suicide attempts had failed. This highlights the overlap between suicide prevention and mass shooting prevention. Mass shooters and leakage of plans. The younger the shooter, the more likely they are to talk about their plans. Those with a history of prior counseling, suicidality, or mental health concerns are also more likely to leak their plans. This leakage can be seen as a cry for help and an opportunity for intervention. However, it is important to know how to effectively intervene and utilize the information available on social media and communication channels. Solutions for mass shootings The complexity of mass shootings requires a multifaceted approach to prevention. Solutions should address mental health, gun culture, internet and social media influence, family dynamics, and more. Embracing the complexity and implementing solutions at individual, institutional, and societal levels is necessary. Individual Level Solutions Safely storing firearms in homes can prevent access by teenagers. Over 80% of school shootings involve stolen guns from family members. Moving beyond good versus evil narrative. Politicians and media often label perpetrators of mass shootings as simply evil without considering underlying factors or solutions. Viewing it as an issue of good versus evil limits understanding and hinders progress towards finding effective solutions. By reframing the problem beyond simplistic narratives, progress can be made in addressing mass shootings.